good morning it's morning that's why i got the hat on i haven't had my hair did yet um <clears throat> if you watch my unboxing of my new grinder i mentioned i was gonna use it in a new video i thought that day um didn't happen what we're doing it this morning and what i'm doing is finding out for myself about um roast level in coffee just because i've made some assumptions about roast level um but I don't know that they're actually true. So what I have is three bags of, um, again, not sponsored by, but this is by Burke's Beans over there across the bay. And what's cool is when you order beans from him, you can pick the bean and then you pick the roast level uh, from, I think, like seven different roast levels. I think we've been getting the uh, medium dark, which is, which is this one here. Uh, but what I've done is got medium dark, me, uh, medium, and a light roast and all the same bean and what i'm going to do is i'm not going to change up much uh else every morning when i'm at work i make coffee the same way and so i'm going to do that here even though i've got some new things to use but i want to kind of keep it with something i'm familiar with and also this is not the end all be all you know i'm not doing a, a cupping and slurping and you know all of that i'm just kind of making coffee the way i do at work and seeing just for everyday uh, use what the difference is. So I'm using a scale, which I do at work, 20, measure out 20 grams of beans. The one concession is I'm gonna use my new grinder, but I'm going to grind some with my hand grinder, uh, which is what I use at work, um, and try to get the grind similar between the two so I don't have to sit here and hand grind a bunch of uh, cups, but I wanna get the grind size what I've been using um, at work. And then I'm gonna use the AeroPress. I use 11 ounces of water. <laughs> and I saw on YouTube that the guy just hates mixing uh, grams <laughs> and, and ounces. They're just two different um, units of measurement, metric and imperial. But that's what I do. What I'm going to do is brew up three different cups of coffee using what I just mentioned. Um, and I do understand that uh, different roast levels uh, to get the best flavor out of it you would use different grind sizes and things like that and maybe even change your extraction time and all that stuff but like I said I just want it for the average person maybe maybe that wants a little bit more involvement in their process of, of making coffee just see what the difference is and after I see what the difference is then from day to day we can mess with other stuff so there we go Okay, so you can see we've got our three different roast levels ground up there. And just out of curiosity, I did weigh out what 11 ounces of water is, approximately 300 grams. So that actually works out to a 1 to 15 ratio if you're into ratio uh, brewing the coffee. We'll get started on making the cups. All right, this is the setup that I'm using for today. We've got uh, the light brewed grounds uh, in the AeroPress right now. Uh, at work, I use a water dispenser with hot water dispenser. No idea what the temperature is. It obviously doesn't come out at boiling. So what I did is set this electric kettle at 200. So I'll go ahead and take this. I'm gonna pour 11 ounces. And this is the what I use to get my water at work. And I'll tell you, so that's closer to 12. We'll dump a little bit out here. Let's see. 
it's pretty close to 11 and pretty close to what we what we do at work with the dispenser so i'm gonna do the rest off camera because what i've started doing uh a new technique i got from youtube is just actually just pouring this in uh, pretty quickly to get the grounds up and kind of into the water and then putting this on right away and i need two hands to do that um, so i'll be back after we've got these all brewed up all right all i can say is thank goodness i did that off camera i just proved again that for myself i'm a very uh process oriented routine person and when i get out of that routine uh I guess it would have good, been, been good for some bloopers. But anyway, see, I've got my three bags. Behind each bag is a cup. I know which is which. This is not going to be a, a blind uh, taste, which I thought about doing. But again, it's not that, that scientific. Um, the recipe I was supposed to be doing is you just pour all the water in uh, without a bloom. Let it put the <clears throat> stopper in so that it doesn't drain much. Let it sit for two minutes, kind of swirl the whole thing, let it sit for 30 seconds, then press it. Um, the bloom, I don't know, I've gone back and forth with that. Uh, this time, just for ease and, and speeding it up, I did no bloom because I had to do three cups. Um, but I also did more real world because I don't always set a timer. And I think what I think is two minutes is not. So I did try to do my real world, did a minute, 30 seconds, uh, just uh, steeping. Um, shook it at the minute 30 second mark, let it sit for another 30 seconds, and then pressed it. Uh, one very interesting thing I found is that it pressed much, much easier um, than what I'm used to at work, even though the grind size looked approximately the same to me. And I think what that is, is I'm getting a lot more fines when I do the hand grinding versus the new grinder. And then I, you know, thank goodness it's different. Otherwise it would have been a waste of money. Um, but I think there's, it's more consistent grind size, less fines, and without the fines, it's much easier to press. So even though to the eye they look the same, I think I'm gonna go down in ground size a bit. If you happen to have uh, the Odin, I was using three and two thirds uh, number on the dial for this. So anyway, I'll start with the lightest and we'll move up and see what the differences are to me. I'm gonna go through once just taste them it's not that exciting to watch and then I'm, then I'll go back through and talk about it I did um, let them sit here for a few minutes too so they're not steaming hot they're also warmer than room temperature because <clears throat> that's how I, I drink it at work <laughs> at, least, at least half the cup the last half might be cold All right, <clears throat> so let me go back through and I'll kind of tell you what, what I'm thinking here. So the first one is, I would say that it's light. It tastes a little bit thin. Um, I think, and I'm not, I'm, I'm good with wine notes. If I were to convert that to this and, and what I've heard before, I might say floral, I might say light citrus. <clears throat> It doesn't taste like lemon, but that's what I'm thinking of. It's kind of a high, high citrus note, if that makes sense. Almost more tea-like than what I'm used to with, with coffee. And there's a note that I'm not used to, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but it's all I can think about is like paper or cardboard. Um, people have asked before if I rinse out the filters when I use the AeroPress. I don't. Again, what I've seen before um, is that it really doesn't make much of a taste difference given it's such a small surface area and I've never had that taste. So unless this is so light um, that now I can taste the filter, I doubt that's what it is, but I'm betting it's a different well, flavor note that I'm just not used to. Overall, I would say it's good, it's very mild. I could drink it every day, but it, I would say it's a little bit on the boring side. Um, it's just too mild. Not a lot going on. So this is a medium roast. Okay, so if I remember right, I think lower roast means more acid and that paper cardboard, you know, might have been just kind of the, the acid hitting because it pretty much has disappeared in this one. I'm not getting that note. I'm still getting the florals. Or, um, and it's a weird citrus taste that I really can't 
place. And again, maybe it's a mixture of florals and citrus or something like that. Um, <clears throat> in the past, I have shied away from coffees that have citrus notes, always thinking that that's kind of acidic and I don't like that bite. This doesn't have a bite. And there's a little bit more roundness to this one. Um, not a flavor, but more of a feeling. Um, just kind of like there's a bass note, right? Where you can't, it's so low you can't hear it, but there's just a, a fuller sense to the taste of this one. So this one I could probably do, it is, it is still pretty mild. Um, I would say it's more on away from tea towards coffee. Um, I like this one. This is the, the medium roast. And this one is medium dark and we're losing some of that citrus and the, the base note is coming up. What I get in that base note is that dark roasted flavor that I associate with burnt, like over roasted coffee, which is interesting because this is just a medium dark. Um, and I know in this you can go medium dark, dark, espresso, fireman. I mean, it goes on. There's a lot more levels there. Um, but that's the note that I kind of associate with just going out to one of the major brands, getting their coffee and kind of being like, man, I really need some cream and sugar with this to tone down that. I call it bitterness. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, if it is, especially if we're getting it on the medium dark, it's not so pronounced that I don't like it. I think if I went up to the dark, that would be like, okay, this is just, call it what you want, bitter, but that dark coffee taste that I associate with the smell of a dark roast um, that I don't like. Here, it makes it taste like coffee. So here you have tea, here you have coffee with that coffee note of like a dark coffee bean. And this one's in between. It's coffee with citrus added to it. What I might try, and uh, unfortunately I'll just, um, I'll tease you, I probably won't go add it to the notes or anything, but I'm wondering if I mix these two in the grinder, what that would be like. Um, going back and forth, that citrus really stands out now on this one. So this is, now that I've gone through them, no, no on this one. I could drink both of these um, and not to be too picky, but almost in between would be perfect. Um, I like the coffee note in this. I like the citrus note in this, a little bit different. If I had to pick one, I think it might, might be this one, just because after a whole cup or a couple of cups, that dark roasted taste, I think would just kind of wear me down a little bit. Wrap it up. I hope uh, if you watch this far, it was at least somewhat interesting for you. It was interesting for me to actually, there is a taste difference. So not just like everything else, you get into it and uh, the more you know, <laughs> more complicated it gets, I guess. So not only are you looking at country of origin, but the way that they process the bean and where in the country it's from, um, but also uh, roast level freshness heat, grind size, on down the rabbit hole, see you on the forum.